I hope that everybody's already wake up for this morning, right? It's a lot of excitement for this KubeCon. So let's start about the project updates in, in Fluentbit. I heard that some of you were aware of or using the project in a heavily intense scale, while others still are new to it. Uh, my name is Eduardo. I'm one of the creators and current maintainers of the project. And Fluentbit is just a log metrics and traces agent, part of the Fluentd ecosystem in a graduated status for the CNCF. In Fluentbit, what it does pretty much moves data from left to right while allows you to process the data in the middle. It's an agent written in C language, pretty performant, and tries to be very uh, optimized for cloud native environments. We support sources like uh, from Prometheus metrics, open telemetry, log file, systemd, and we support many also OPPO destinations where you can send your telemetry data. In the Fluent ecosystem, more than being and dropping replacement for solutions, it tries to be a solution that provides you a no vendor locking, where you can just integrate the solution in your environment and take the advantage of moving telemetry data. It's, it's project agnostic. We integrate with Prometheus with open telemetry on the other side, and it's fully uh, open source, as I mentioned. And who's using Fluentbit at a higher scale? Well, major cloud providers and companies around the globe. Today we are announcing the release of Fluentbit 2.1. That for us is a major release that comes with exciting new features and also is implements most of the things that community has been asking for. One of them is hot reload support. So finally Fluentbit support hot reload. People was complaining that it was never implemented properly and now it's there. So you can deploy it, change the configuration, trigger a sick hub over HTTP or through a signal and it will work uh, right away. We also have uh, the capabilities to convert from logs to metrics. And there are a couple of applications that ship metrics as logs, but actually you would like to expose those metrics, for example, in Prometheus format. With this new capability, now you can accomplish that. Now, from a data co a metrics collection standpoint, for Linux, we have a metrics collector for Linux. Now we have extended for file system support. Also, you can read metrics from a text file. But also, now you can configure the different collector for Linux at different intervals, which was not supported before. Now, for Windows, we enhance the whole uh, WMI system to collect metrics. Now, also, we support the capability to scrape at different intervals. And also, we add support for Windows ARM64. This is quite, quite new. I don't know if you're using that environment, but we support it. Um, uh, have you seen that Podman is like a new, new way to run your containers? It's been a project pushing by Red Hat. Now Fluentbit is able to scrape the Podman container metrics. So if you're running Podman, you can scrape all the metrics by using Fluentbit. Uh, in Fluentbit until version 2.0, we didn't support the concept of metadata in logs. Usually, people tend to put the metadata inside the log. For example, your Kubernetes labels, your Kubernetes annotations. So we have adapted the schema in order also to support open telemetry, because open telemetry payload separates what is metadata from, from the content. So as a first use case, we used to support, for example, timestamp and event. Now we have the timestamp plus metadata plus the event. This change is not, doesn't add any breaking changes. It's pretty smooth for all your environments. So if you're not using metadata in logs, that's fine. If you're using it, now you have full support for that. And one of the exciting new additions is the concept of processors. I mentioned that Fluentbit has been able for many years to process the data, but in a way that was pretty straightforward. This is a global overview where you have an input in the left, you have processing in the middle, and you have the output uh, that connects to different backends, right? Uh, in reality, this works in a multi-process environment, multi-threading environment, where you have the input plugins in an input thread, the output in different threads. And now with processors, we allow this. Instead of just filtering the data in the middle, you can do all the processing in a separate thread without routing, and you can, you can kind of create a stack of data processing for the data that you are consuming. Uh, actually, this can be reflected pretty easily in a YAML file, and we're going to share more information about this in the maintenance track tomorrow at 4.30. And well, Fluentbit has been deployed heavily in the latest years, and now we are hitting 
6.3 billion dollars in total, which is insane. So thanks for the community. I hope these project updates are useful for you. And I'm going to hand over the presentation to the next speaker. Thank you.